we're gonna put the story somewhere in the West. So of course, Vegas. I mean, what is more iconic when you think of crazy things that you could do in the West? I think that was really the inspiration for the story in a lot of ways was looking back at the history of Vegas. We really think of it as a side story. In a lot of ways, we're revisiting stuff from the original two games, but it really, it stands on its own. The first thing our creative lead and our project director did was they sat down and they sort of examined what sort of themes they wanted to explore in New Vegas. Every Fallout game pretty much starts with war, war never changes. And the idea behind that is really that humanity has this unending appetite for killing each other. Fallout New Vegas is a post-apocalyptic role-playing game. It's set a couple of hundred years after a cataclysmic nuclear war between the U.S. and China, and it takes place at a time when the city of New Vegas is actually being rebuilt. Fall 3 starts with you being born, and you're a baby, and you go through your young adulthood until you leave the vault. In New Vegas, we wanted to say you start the game in a very Vegas sort of cliche style almost. You are shot in the head and dropped in a shallow grave, so it starts with essentially your would-be death. After you're shot and left for dead in a grave, you know, you might have some desire to go see what the whole murdering business was about and why he wanted you dead in the first place. In the course of trying to resolve that one conflict, uh, you get pulled into larger events. So in this case, you're trying to find the people that killed you and what they were trying to get from you. In this case, it was a package you were carrying. So, of course, as you go around, you find out that what you were carrying is centrally tied into this major conflict in the area between New California Republic and Caesar's Legion and Mr. House, who's the guy that sort of runs the strip in New Vegas. Player freedom is very important in the Fallout series, and when we allow the player to basically have a choice in what they do and how they do it, by leaving the plot open in a way that basically they're just learning what's going on in the world, it gives them a lot more freedom in how they want to learn that information. The environment is genuinely reacting to what you do as the player. You have a, a, a pretty extraordinary amount of control over the outcome of the game.